Law enforcement in Ukraine can use all the help they can get, and it's no secret that community is close-knit. And that's one reason why officers in Ukraine are receiving help from right here in Alabama. As WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough explains, deputies in Jefferson County are stepping up to help those who need help the most right now. For police officers on the front lines in Ukraine, it's like nothing they've ever experienced before as Russian forces invade their country. Mike Hall spends a lot of his time in Ukraine training those officers who are facing their greatest challenge yet. In the last two weeks, they've had 550,000 calls of service. They have a, a 102 line, like our 911 line. Hall has been in constant contact with members of the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office throughout this crisis, letting deputies know how they can help those officers who are working nonstop. And so that's kind of, you know, what's really pulling at our heartstrings to, to make sure that our brothers and sisters of the badge are, are safe and have what they need as much as we can. A page has been set up on Amazon with the items most needed to help Ukrainian officers through this trying time. Hall says the Ukrainian police force has stood strong the whole way through. There are about 30 plus thousand police officers in Ukraine. 30% of them are women. They have the largest women in law enforcement than any other agency that I know of in the world. Uh, and they're still on the front lines. Things got so tense, Hall had to evacuate to a neighboring country where he's waiting to find out when he can return to Ukraine. He says before the recent Russian invasion, Ukraine was a safe place. To, to give you just kind of a highlight, there's, there's more people killed in Chicago in a weekend than there is in all of Ukraine in a year, right? So Ukraine is an extremely safe uh, country. Deputies in Jefferson County want to do all they can for the officers risking their lives. After all, law enforcement is one big family. Can you imagine what it's like for them while they're trying to, you know, answer their calls and keep their communities safe while there's a war going on around them? Those overseas are extremely grateful for the relief being sent their way. For instance, thermal underwear. It's snowing in Ukraine today. Right? It's cold. They're outside. We need gloves. Uh, we need uh, regular underwear. We need socks. We need toiletries. And it's not just law enforcement officers who can help. The general public can, too. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.